Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a uh customizable sign inside of Roblox show. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is create your sign. So I already have one right here. And as you can see, if you just open up the model, it's just a post and this little board. It's better if you do rename this uh to different parts like post and sign and make sure you have it into a model which is also named sign what you want to do now is go to the actual sign board and add in a surface gui and inside here you want to add a text label now you're going to go to text label properties and you set the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and we're changing the transparency to 1 and then you can go ahead and customize the text how you want it. So it changes to white and then make sure text is scaled. <clears throat> you don't really have to change anything. I'm just going to name this a sign because again, it doesn't really matter because it will be customizable later on. All right, guys. So what you want to do, what you want to do next is we're going to create the GUI that will uh, allow the player to change the text. So we're going to go to start GUI and insert a screen GUI. We're going to rename this to change uh, sign GUI. And inside you, we're going to start a frame. And we're going to rename this to uh, change GUI frame. Oh no, change sign frame. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and resize this to whatever we want. We're going to set this right in the middle. And then I'm going to add a color to it, maybe add a UI corner just to make it look better. And there, what you want, what you guys want to do now, everything's going to go inside of this uh, frame. We're going to add a text label for the title. Just like that. Change the transparency. All right. We're also going to add a close button. So we're just going to put this right here in this corner all right so now the two most important things that we need to add to this gui are first we're gonna insert a sign or a text box uh text box right there this is gonna allow the player to type in their whatever they want to type in i guess um there we go just like that we change the color to like this is theme blue, but a little darker. Like that, that works, I guess. The player can type right here. I'm gonna quickly just make, change up the font and whatever, just to so match with everything else. It looks good. Oh, we're right here. Text color, white text scaled. And if I type, you can test it out just like that. That's perfect. All right, we're gonna, and we're gonna name this to sign text box and the last thing we're gonna insert a text button Oops, that's a text label we're gonna insert a text button and this is gonna be our submit button or the yeah just submit button just to confirm that they, that's what they want to type in we're gonna name this to submit text button and then once again we can customize this same way Make it a little darker, I guess. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a local script inside of this frame. We're gonna here, and we're gonna add local script right there. And we're gonna start scripting. Actually, we, I just remembered something. We need to add a rem a remote event inside of uh, replicate storage. And we're gonna name this to just rename that. To sign a remote event. Make sure you guys spell everything correctly, or else the scripts won't uh, identify each object and it won't work. Yeah, let's go back to the script uh, right there.
that when he first put it to the gun. All right, so that is the first trip finished. Um, I don't know if I wanted to play any. Yeah, everything's fine. So yeah, as long as you um fill everything correctly, it should work. Now we have one more script to do. This is the final step. Just go to server script service. I'm gonna insert script, and this is gonna be the final script. This is gonna be the main script that's gonna handle everything. Hey guys so that is the final script don't know why i have an error over here i'll just what we check script done uh the only thing you would want to change is maybe this number if you want the 30 uh that's how many characters would be allowed in the text box uh, the maximum number minimum obviously should be zero but yeah let's go test this out uh let's go to make sure you go to start gui and make sure your thing is vis your frame is not visible just was not uh <clears throat> bothering anything else all right guys i just found a quick bug i wasn't working it said that sun is not a valid member of part i just realized we've got one more step See, go to workspace and create a folder and name this the sign so capital s and with an s at the end and make sure all your sign models go inside of there now again we can let's test the game and you can see the text is gone once I click. So you can see that the text, even though we didn't add a text, um, I mean, not a text, uh, click detector. You can see not a single click detector anywhere, but the script added one by itself. When we click this, the GUI appears. We can also close the script the same way. And let's change this to hello. Submit. And you can see now it says hello. Now we can go and, uh, what should I write? Subscribe, I guess, because you should subscribe. There you go. And that's it for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any uh, questions, you can comment down, comment them down below. I do have a Discord channel coming up. It's under review. I'm trying to build that up again. Uh, but yeah, that's basically for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.